Hey guys, what's good on my busy bitches? Welcome back to my channel. Shout out my mucus. Can you know that be my slime? Shout out my mucus. That again, that be my slime. That again, that be my slime. On a more serious note, today we're gonna be doing what's on my iPhone. Basically just going through my entire iPhone like if you were my man. I'm gonna be showing you guys what apps I have on here, um, who's hitting my DMs. It's like nah, I wanna put you niggas on blast. Or do I? Um, my phone looks pretty shitty. I have a busted pop socket. I, I also have this case on it. It's just rose gold polka dots, you know, real basic. Kate Spade though. <laughs> Shmoney. What? I don't know why I said that. I got this from TJ Maxx. I have no money. This is the iPhone 8 Plus in rose gold. I also have on this cracked ass um, screen protector. But it came in handy because without this, my screen would have been shattered to shimbers. So my background on my lock screen. I don't know, I just, I like this picture. My 11 year old niece actually took this picture. She's a bomb photographer. I'm gonna leave her information down in the description. Um, you can book her, she's available until September and then she's gonna be on tour out of the States. <laughs> what? So on my first page, I just have all the basic shit, you know? I'm pretty sure everyone does like my calendar because I never know what day it is. So it's really useful to just have that right there in case I ever wanna know what year it is. I have the calendar, I have this mail, and you know what's funny about my mail is that, what, like do you guys see this? Zillow, first of all, I don't even know what that is. Like, what, and it's all Zillow, literally. I'm pretty sure that's like a freaking, like a buying a house website. I'm not buying a house anytime soon, so. Clearly I don't use this email. Mm, I don't even know why it's still here. You know, I've tried to delete it. You can't get rid of it. <gasps> you can get rid of it. Delete, bitch! I've needed that gone for so long. Good thing I'm making this video. I'm like taking care of house cleaning right now. Cleaning out my phone. This is useful. So now next to the calendar I have my photos. I have, you know, mm, we're not gonna scroll too much because I know more saying here like that. Here we have 2,716 pictures, 802 videos. Why? I don't know. I need to go through all of this and like delete so many things, screenshots from exes, like getting caught on their bullshit. I probably have like screenshots of like my ex cheating two years ago. I just gotta go through all of this and you know, clean out the skeletons, but 2,716 is a big ass number and I don't have time. The camera's so good on this phone, like literally, I'm gonna, just gonna show you guys a couple of the pictures that my niece took of me the other day. There's like a mode called portrait. Like, look at this picture. It freaking literally like blurs out the whole background and just focuses on the closest subject in the picture. So like when you take pictures in portrait mode, they come out like that. They come out like that. Like, they're just so fire. Um, and you know what's crazy is that I've had this phone for like, four months and I never really messed with the portrait mode, but it's honestly one of the best qualities about this entire phone. It's just so lit. Like my Instagram has just been fire. Oh, I guess this is a good time to say, if you don't follow me on Instagram, this is my Instagram. Follow me at Sarah Baby, five E's. My Instagram's kind of lit, you know? Like it's, it's not that lit, but it's getting litter. I take some dope pics, like look at this one. <sighs> Almost burnt my finger, bitch. So yeah, that's Instagram. I guess I kind of skipped ahead a little bit. You know, you have the basics, you have the clock, you have the weather, you have the notes, you have the reminders, you have the app store, you have the iTunes store, which who uses iTunes, honestly, honey? If you use iTunes, is you got money. Who pays $1.99 for a song? I don't use that, I actually use Apple Music. 
this is just basically a subscription if you're a college student which I am not anymore but as far as Apple knows I am and if you're a college student I'm pretty sure it's like $5.99 or something or like $10.99 something like really cheap um, per month and you get all the music you could ever want and yeah it's just there forever but if you miss a payment <laughs> you're gonna be listening on YouTube, so. Anyway, next to that, we have the health app. Don't know what that is, I'm not healthy. Then we have the wallet, and honestly, I use the wallet. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't use the wallet. But like, in here, I just have, you know, like your pay cash. Honestly, I found that um, with Apple Pay, it's like really, really inconvenient, especially because I use Cash App or Square Cash, which is like basically the same thing. Like you can send money back and forth to people and it's really quick. It's like you get it in freaking like 30 seconds. But that app actually takes out 10% um, of whatever you're sending, which is like, why? Why are you doing that? It's not your money. It's just a lot easier, I guess, because with Apple Pay, I actually used it one time and I didn't get the money for like three days. And that's kind of a bummer because I need my ish money. Also on my wallet, you know, I have my card connected in case I download an app or anything like that. You can just connect your card and make in-app purchases, virtual purchases, spend money on images <laughs> if that's what you like to do because I'm a Fortnite player and I need those new skins, bitch. And then also in here I have, you know, like my plane tickets and stuff like that. It's really convenient. If you're taking a flight, you just pull out your little wallet. You don't have to pull out your real one. You just pull up your ticket and it pops up like this. Boop, they scan it and it's Liddy. And then I have my maps, my settings, and that Snapchat. Now, for those of you guys who do know me personally, Snapchat used to be my sh but um, recently, I've really just been switching over to Instagram stories and I hate to say it because like, I was like the Snapchat queen. I literally used to post so many Snapchats, I would post stories, I would post drama, I would post so much on my Snapchat and like, it would be lit, like I was a lit snapper, like you can't tell me I wasn't. But honestly, like Snapchat just really fell off fell off the building really it committed suicide now Instagram stories are just so much better I found that with snapchat they stopped having it set up so that like everyone's most recent stories are at the top of your timeline like you can just watch through them and now it's like everything is just like at the top over here like what is this what is this and it's like now I get no views I used to get so many views on my snaps and now my shit is straight cocky yeah, I don't really mess with Snapchat anymore, but you know what I do mess with? These filters! Hey. So yeah, I do I do still like the Snapchat filters and all of that, but I'm more on the Instagram side now. Next to that, I have this app on here called Dasher. It's kind of like Uber Eats, Poshmark, Grubhub. Basically, it's just a food delivery service. It's like this whole thing me and my friend did, we signed up for it, we went to like this little orientation. Literally, you go there, you sit there for 10 minutes, not even. You sit there for like an hour and they just basically break everything down for you. They give you this little card, they give you um, a bag and they send you on your way. And it's like, just this app, you can open it up, it just gives you like a map of your entire area and like you can just dash like you literally just take your little baggie that they gave you you get in your car and you just start making deliveries you just start making money anyway next page so we have facetime calculator all this extra ish clips i don't know what that is this folder is just called folder because i don't know what anything in it is i don't know what any of that is we have imovie and imovie is what i use to edit all of my youtube videos next to that Next to that, we have Fortnite. Bitch, this is my shit. I literally try and convince everybody to play Fortnite. Everybody, and especially mobile, because I'm not even gonna lie, if I get into a game with crossplay with people on PS4 or Xbox or computers, oh, I don't stand a chance. I remember my first game with crossplay. It was the guy that I was talking to, and I was like, yeah get on this Fortnite wave we about to be lit don't worry I'm gonna hold you you don't even have to be good like that it's fine I got you <laughs> bitch he was on Xbox we got in there I was so damn confused next thing I knew I landed on a house 
and I was dead. And then I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I was just, I wasn't paying attention, you know? I wasn't, I wasn't ready. So I was like, let's get it again. <sighs> Flew on in, landed on the chest, got my gun. He was right next to me. I was trying to block him. I was like, hold up, I hear something. I was like, just stay behind me, stay behind me. Came around the corner. <laughs> we was both dead, bitch. Anyway, I'm going on a rant. That's all my Fortnite niggas. And let's get on with the video. Next to that, I have YouTube, um, self-explanatory. <laughs> I next to that we have YouTube studio YouTube studio is basically an app that you're only really gonna want if you actually have a YouTube channel cuz if not there's not much use for it it's just an app that basically shows you all the stats for your videos tells you how many views you got and like it pretty much lets you know how they're doing compared to the rest of your videos which ones have the most views which ones have the most likes which ones weren't doing so good when would you corny when would you pop in basically that type of thing then i have gmail that's actually where my real mail goes i don't know what that other foo-foo app was and then next to that i have twitter now i don't use twitter i can explain i really don't want to twitter is here to stalk my exes <sighs> kind of crazy yeah so see the last time i ever retweeted anything was in 2016 so yeah um enough about that let's just get out of here next to that we have airbrush which is a picture editing app it like lets you brighten pictures put filters on pictures blur pictures um i don't know it just lets you do a bunch of stuff and it makes pictures look really dope so below that i have my canon connect app for my camera i have the g the g the g7x the gx7 mark ii i don't know what it's called it's one of those oh it's on the right here duh the g7x mark ii basically this app just lets you connect to your um, camera's wi-fi and import all of your pictures and videos with ease now next to that we have my catfish app this is called you can make up you can be a catfish i guess i'm just gonna expose myself right here so i use this app to remove pimples blemishes um just really anything that looks crazy you can just get rid of it with this app you can be whoever you want to be honey you can put lipstick on you can put eyelashes on you can do anything but but you don't want to get caught doing that if you do, it's kind of embarrassing. Well, I've kind of eased up on that. I don't know, if you scroll deep enough onto my Instagram, I'm sure you'll find pictures that you can be like, like oh, she, you can that. Well, I feel like everyone went through a photo editing phase and don't sit here and tell me you didn't. Don't sit here and tell me you never whitened your teeth or you've never taken pimples away from your, your pictures. Don't do it, bitch, because I will call you out. I will call you out. Next to that, I have world star now world star used to be my shit like i'm talking before phones like back in the day when you had to go on your family computer in the living room like i've always loved world star i feel like the videos are so crazy they're so informal they're so entertaining next to that i have my usaa app that's my bank app then under that i have pandora then the app that i was talking about earlier this is cash app it's basically, you know, you put in the amount that you want to send. Oh, I do not have that. You pay it to whoever you're going to pay it to, or you can request it from whoever you want to request it from. Next, we have Facebook. I'm not really active on Facebook anymore. I don't know, it's just kind of not my thing. Uh, Visco is just another photo editing app. The filters on here are kind of more subtle and more natural than the filters that are on airbrush sometimes you just have a picture and you just want the perfect edit on it and you just need a few apps to help you achieve that goal then we have dsw it's just a shoe app there's nothing to really say about it so next is follow track this is a relatively recent app that i've downloaded and the reason why is because i'm sick and i am tired of you mother coming onto my Instagram and requesting me and then deleting me after I follow you back. I said it's not gonna happen anymore. I went and got me this handy dandy app. Is this an ad? It lets you know 
users that are not following you back. So basically, when someone wants to slip into your page and send you that friend request and start following you and then they wanna just unfollow you 10 minutes after you follow them back, you can see. And then you can just go right on in no, 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 no. This is not normal. So yeah, you can go on to here and you can see who's not following you back and then you can just simply click unfollow next to them. I've already filtered through all of this, so the only people not following me back are like, you know, celebrities, totally understandable. Next page, Bitmoji. And next that I have the Ipsy app, which I don't even want to get into on here because fuck Ipsy. Next to that we have Fonto, that's where I edit my YouTube thumbnails and then pick monkey same thing spoof card i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it you probably have it used to be really relevant but like not so much anymore especially considering the fact that i'm 24 i probably shouldn't even have this app so spoof card is basically an app for prank calling it's the littest app for prank calling as a matter of fact i don't care judge me it lets you take anybody's number and make it pop up on that person's phone like that person is calling them. Next to that, I have my CVS pharmacy app. CVS has everything. CVS has mad coupons. Um, That's what I use the app for. Then I have Facebook Messenger right here. Next app I have on here is this app called Hotel Tonight. Now, um, my electricity just went out. Oh no, TV! Yeah. Well, that was inconvenient. Hotel tonight. It just gives you like discounts and rewards on hotels. And it's just useful to have if you travel a lot or if you throw tellies. Let's see, I have a daily horoscope app. I'm kind of into astrology, low key. Um, I feel like it really hits the nail on the head sometimes. So how could I not be into it? I'm an Aquarius. Yeah, and this app is called Cut Story. It's useful for taking like long videos and cutting them into clips of 15 seconds so that you can post them on Instagram, or you can cut them into like eight seconds so that you can post them on Snapchat. Like, it's basically just taking long videos and putting them in the right format to post them on social media. And then the last page that I have, right here I have Spotify. Now, I don't use Spotify anymore. I used to be a Spotify head. My freshman year of college and senior year of high school, I threw a lot of parties in my basement and I would always like need playlists, but I would never wanna pay for like music out of iTunes. So Spotify was useful because it was always a subscription just like Apple Music, so you could make playlists and have all your songs there. So literally like, I have, look, what is this? This is my basement playlist. I was gonna give you guys a taste. Which color will you love? None. Good times, good times. The next app that I have on here is called Sprinkles Jesus. Basically it's just like, well, what I used it for because I never came on here looking for a church to go to and I think that that's what this app is for. But I used it for the notifications. It like sends you a notification randomly on random days and they're just like little influential, positive, like, notifications from Jesus and like I love the idea like and I loved the app in the beginning it was just kind of cool and it was kind of like I don't know it just worked for me okay then like recently like within recent months I don't know if you guys have been experiencing this too but literally me and my friend both have the app and we used to get different notifications with like different messages and different meanings and they were unique and that was the whole point they're supposed to be for you but if every same message I don't want it I really think that the app was hacked and someone is on here going in because even the messages lately have just been out of pocket I remember one time I got one talking about being a side chick and then one of them was saying something about being on your knees like it was just getting real crazy and I'm just like okay so like who's fucking with me on this app next to this I have vine TV I used to love vine like I used to post so many vines, me and my friends, and now like Vine doesn't exist. Like Vine is just 
something totally different now. But this app that I found, because one day I was on a freaking mission to find my old finds, and I came across this app, and it's like now you can go on this and you can just type in your username and like all of your old vines will pop up and it's just so funny and cringy to like look back and see all of those videos my vines are disgusting and then we have just a random little files folder floating here puffin puffin is basically a web browser that is equivalent to what you're gonna get on your desktop or laptop over here we have my Starbucks app and this app is litty because you can load up your card It's like a virtual card you put money on it from your actual account and then every time you get Starbucks it like Records it and then eventually you'll have rewards from buying so many drinks and then eventually you get a free drink So as you can see from going through my phone, you know, I like free shit um, I like discounts. I like coupons. I love it. I love it all So that's basically what most of my apps are besides like social media pictures editing videos but other than that mm, There's not too much to talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video I was gonna expose some people in my DMs, but maybe next time. Let me know down in the description if you guys want me to do like some type of like exposing video. That's just getting crazy, see? Okay. Anyway, thanks for tuning into my channel where I am bugged and inconsistent. And yes, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.